So I want to encourage you right now, but before I do, I want to keep it very real with you. I'd be lying to you if I said that when I look around in this world that I didn't feel troubled. Because when I look around, I really do feel troubled. I feel sorrow. I feel worry. I feel stress. I feel pressure. And I don't like it. But I don't think I'm alone, am I? Because I wonder, what's it going to take for people to work together? What's it going to take for this world to be okay? Because it seems to me that it may be worse than it ever has been. But in the midst of all that, there is this bright and shining light. In the midst of all that, there is this great encouragement that I want to share with you right now. Welcome to day 16 of John chapter 21, where we're in John 16. And Jesus is having his final words with his disciples before he makes his way to the cross. And he's pouring into them. He's encouraging them. He's doing the best that he can to make sure that they hang on. And at the end of the chapter, after pouring his heart out, he says, in this world, you're going to have some trouble, but take heart because I have overcome the world. You know, that's great comfort to me because I find myself getting stressed. And somehow as a believer, when you're walking in this relationship with Christ, this something comes up in you that overpowers this worry that you have. What you see in front of you is something that makes you feel like that you should be very concerned and you feel that worry, you feel that stress. But from somewhere deep down, it's like there's this victory in you that you can't explain. You know, it's interesting when Jesus come riding into Jerusalem, that victory also came riding in with him. All these things come riding into town with him. And you know, so Jesus had overcome the world already. Well, you say, wait, Pastor Brian, because you know, they did crucify the guy. And that's true. But they wouldn't have done that unless Jesus had willingly give himself to do so. Jesus laid down his life. Nobody took his life. Jesus laid down his life for me and you. And you know why he did? It's so that his victory could become your victory. So that his hope, his joy could become your joy. So that his peace that he had when he was riding into Jerusalem to lay down his life, he had this incredible amount of peace because he was riding on a donkey, which was a symbol that he was a king that come in peace. And it wasn't because uh, of any other reason other than the fact that he knew who he was and he had already got the victory. He had already overcome the world. The only reason that he went and did what he did was so that you and I also could have access to being overcomers of this world too. So when I look around early this morning, I was concerned, very stressed, and rightfully so, I think all of us have a reason to be stressed about things. But somewhere in the midst of all that, come bubbling up out of me like, a, like oil out of a well. And it just overpowered that stress, overpowered that worry, overpowered that concern, overpowered that trouble. Because now, not only can Jesus say, I have overcome the world, but I can say, I have overcome the world, not because of something great that I've done, but because of who lives in me. In this world, you're going to have some trouble, but I have overcome this world. I can say that now, not because I did it, but because of the one who resides in me, who empowers me, that I can stare down the face of sorrow. And somehow, as that sorrow seeps into me, that the Spirit of God in me will turn that sorrow into joy. That when the trouble seems to overtake me, that that trouble will somehow turn to peace. It's unexplainable, but it's a gift that I truly think the world should share in. I hope that encourages you today. Love you guys.